if you let a country be barren of NVIDIA, NVIDIA chips and their programmers no longer have access to that tech stack, who do you think fills that void? It's Huawei. They fill the void. So they run around wherever we've banned NVIDIA from selling their chips, even a generation back. And they say, well, don't worry about it. We'll provide you with Chinese chips and uh, we'll make them very attractive to you at a, an aggressive uh, predatory price that gets us more market share so that all of your developers abandon working on the NVIDIA and American AMD and Broadcom platforms and you work with our Chinese stacks. And everybody knows the Chinese in their technology provide, well, for lack of a better word, spyware. So we're letting, with this policy in Washington, and the best analogy I, I can use is, the chip itself is the queen bee, and that creates the hive, so you want the chip queen bee, and the programmers are the honey bees that create the ecosphere, that make the hive successful, and do all the work, and create the honey. And so in a very simple analogy, when it comes to TikTok, and when it comes to you know, American technology, or it, or it comes to even Bitcoin and data centers, do we want Chinese honey or do we want American honey? Which honey do we want? And I found that a very powerful analogy because it really nails it down. The more we let the Chinese make the honey, the more we're gonna get the TikTok honey running things. And the reason TikTok's in trouble is it runs on Chinese honey and they wanna stop that. And, and I know why, it's spyware. We want the programmers and we want the technology and the blockchain extensions all to be American honey. And that, therefore, we got to bring all this back home. And our biggest problem, because this is a long answer I've just given you, is power. We don't have any power.